Welcome back once again to Rival Rundown! This time we're taking a look at the Encased Enigma Suitcase. One thing you'll immediately notice upon picking up Suitcase is that this character hits hard, getting reliable kills much earlier than you'd expect. Suitcase's already versatile kit will get even better over the course of the match, with permanent upgrades thrown into the mix. Also, while more minor than the other benefits, Suitcase is quite slippery, allowing for attacks that keep that momentum. However, this doesn't mean Suitcase is fast. In fact, it's quite slow, both grounded and airborne. And speaking of airborne, the recovery is genuinely pretty bad and extremely punishable. And lastly, this character features a heavy RNG element that can drastically change the effectiveness of the character if not handled well. Suitcase's gimmick is experience. When dealing damage, Suitcase will gain experience that then turns into levels. These levels can be traded in for items with down special. Every item modifies a move or aspect of Suitcase. One item won't make too much of an impact on your game plan, but these can make a huge difference over the course of the game. If you don't like an item, you can instead void it, removing it from the pool at the cost of making you lighter. The Down Special also has a weak hitbox, which doesn't really do too much unless you have the Down Special Achievement item, which lets it function as a shine. Oh yeah, by going out of your way to do certain things, like taunting, attacking with down special, ledge cancelling, etc., you'll add achievement items to the pool, which generally have a much more powerful effect. The most impractical ones to unlock have some truly nutty benefits if you feel like fishing for them. I don't have time to go into all of the items, but I did some outdated guides on the items, and there's a list on the Steam page, I believe. Either way, items play a huge part in your game plan, and which items you get can change the effectiveness of your strategies. The fastest way to gain XP is with the Neutral Special, which fires an XP orb. The orb doesn't do much knockback, but is a multi-hit that awards XP on hit, making it a rewarding projectile regardless. As the centerpiece of the kit, the move also features the most items that affect it, taking it from a mediocre projectile to a zoning nightmare if you get the full set. For forward special, Suitcase unleashes its inner Neko arc and hitches a ride on a taxi. This is one of Suitcase's best movement options. It's fast and jump cancelable, making it quite safe. The actual hit can be comboed off of, but it's very easy to parry. This move is simple, but crazy effective. Lastly is the up special, another very simple move. Suitcase grows a propeller and flies upwards. The move has pretty slow startup and is very easy to punish, but as your only vertical recovery, it's often a necessary evil. Suitcase's normals are mimicked from other characters, leading to some moves needing no introduction. Crag's Jab and Ellie's Down Tilt are amazing combo starters, Ellie Dare and Edelis Bear are great combo and mix-up tools, and of course Crag Fair and Up Air just commit war crimes, even on a different character. Of course, due to the slidey nature of Suitcase, it's possible to slide into opponents with any of your strongs or an F-Tilt to get a cheeky kill. Items are also important to keep in mind as they open new routes, such as aerial forward strong, giant range on your strongs, or just making down air spike. There's really not too much to explain about Suitcase. Due to the item mechanic, the rest of the kit is very simple and easy to understand at a glance. But what do you think of the character? Let me know in the comments or join the conversation over in the Extended Workshop Discord. Until next time, this has been your Rival Rundown.